welcome to the NBS Show, episode number 340. I'm your host, Norman Sanjo. This week, I'll be hosting the show solo. So that means a faster show, a quicker show, a more coherent show, I think. But anywho, let's hop right into it. So in the first news, we head off to Thailand because they have something poly related over there. I think you would have known this by now if it's on the show. So anywho, over in Thailand, there is a company called Singha Drinking Water. And they're, I, I think they're a local company who deals in bottled water. I'm not 100% sure it's mineral or not because you can't really tell with mineral waters these days. But getting back on point, it seems that they have collaborated with Hasbro to pony up their bottled water. So they have a few selected options here, ranging from, uh, well, the main six, obviously. And it seems that this product is, well, kind of cool. And their launch party is awesome because they have um, giant pony statues uh, and also standees and whatnot. And it seems that, from what I understand, in Thailand, ponies are really awesome. And this is a legit collab because from the website I'm looking at, they're cross-promoting between uh, their brand and Hasbro's or My Little Pony. This promotion is there. I'm not 100% until when. But from what I can tell, a bottle is going to cost 100 Thai baht. So yay, mineral waters are fun, or plain waters are fun. I know we eat no Pepsi or Coke, but it's a much more healthier alternative. So anyway, let's head on to the next news. And in the next news, we head off to Walmart. Because if you're going to buy some for drinks, where better place to get them than Walmart? Yes. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this year, um, Walmart have their one of their gift cards being pony fight yay and this time it's not bad it's like a princess toilet sparkle being tied up in christmas ribbons much coolness uh, so if you guys out there who got no idea what to get your brony friends this gift card is already awesome enough because they have a pony on it and anything with a pony on it is automatically 20 percent cooler Yes, so uh, I'm not 100 percent sure how much this is. Uh, the uh, EQD hasn't given me any much info to talk about, except that it's available there. So yay! Uh, if you guys are going to the Wall of March, uh, do let me know and see how much it is. And that's it for the news this week. I know it's been a rather short news week. There was one uh, involving Hasbro. But somehow that one got taken down by EQD. And well, if it's not there, I guess it didn't happen, right? Or maybe it's somehow hidden and we have to look for it on other sites. But in all honesty, it wasn't really interesting. It was something to do with them moving or not. So yay. Uh, That's not pony related. So yay. Let's move on beyond that. And talking about moving on, uh, moving on to the next topic. And said topic is what have I been doing with my week? So my week this week has been a little tad boring because I haven't really done anything interesting to warrant a conversation piece for the podcast. Okay, maybe one, but I don't think so. You guys be interested in listening. Uh, And that is, well, let's see. um, I met a friend or met up with a friend who I haven't met up with in a long time and I and I asked him to buy something for me I think that was what the 20th anniversary for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Yugi Muto special Uh, it comes with a play mat deck box card sleeves and one promotional card and three classic Yu-Gi-Oh! boosters the first volume boosters Uh, from what i understand those are pretty rare and eh, let's just say that if uh, konami is doing it they reprint it and stuff but in old-fashioned border stuff yes 
So anyway, um, I bought it and it cost me about 55 Singapore dollars. So one of the few things that are awesome about it is that you get a plain mat, sleeves, deck box and some cards, obviously. But here's the thing about Japanese card games. Some of the cards in there can be really, really expensive. Fortunately for me, I got one of the expensive cards. Uh, and that is the Dark Magician. It costs around, well, in the second-hand market, it costs around 4,000 yen. And that is what, uh, I don't know the conversion rate, but in ringgit, it's about 160 plus ringgit. So, yay, I made money there. So, yay. I broke even, I guess. So, that's it. Other than that, a bit of Overwatch. Ash came out, tried her. She was really fun. Um, not really my kind of character. She's more of a... How do I put this? People have been comparing her to the scout in Team Fortress 2. And I think it's a bit. And uh, I, I don't know. She's a mid-range to long-range uh, DPS. And she has kind of a sniper thing going for her so it's not really my kind of deal so uh. but other than that uh let's see nothing much really but just been editing the podcast for the show and doing a lot of well mostly internal works oh um if you're listening to this now be sure to check us out at the friendship express that is going on in sunway geo mall uh, we'll be there for the both days doing the conventions. Yes, we'll be there. It's another convention week. So, yay, meet us over there. We'll be doing some of the funds. What we'll be doing there, I got no idea. Um, I know that I'll be presenting up on stage. My panel would be around 3 p.m. to 4 on a Saturday, the 17th of November. And I got no idea what I've been doing. Um you know what we'll do something that's what i'll say we'll do something interesting like i always do it's one of those things where i'll kind of think of something because that's what i always do yes <laughs> so yeah um catch us over there for the funsies we'll do something we'll do something do come up and say hi and say how you well just say hi because i really like to talk to you guys so anyway, um, I've been babbling and that's not good. Babbling makes me feel good. <laughs> no, uh, babbling makes me f- so um, conscientious about myself. Uh, but anyway, but anyway, <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbsradio.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. That is a good place to keep up with what's going on in the convention. If you guys do follow, you have noticed that I've been... Well, keeping track of the happenings in SeaponyCon. That was the previous con I was at. So I'll probably do the same with this one at the Friendship Express. Yes. And if you want to get more personal with me, uh, you can catch me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about stuff that I probably like. Um, Usually it's about food. I take pictures of food and post them onto the Instagram, which also po- uh, redirects it to the Twitters and stuff. So yes, uh, do... Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Also, uh, please subscribe rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And search the radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLife.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, reviewing the Pony comics, TV shows, movies, and sometimes we like to divert and do other things like America's Ladybugs, any other movies that we can think of. And, well, generally we do what we like to do. There's an up-and-coming discussion that Silver Quill wanted to do, so do check that one out. I'm not going to spoil on what it is. It's a very interesting discussion, by the way. You should really check it out if it's up. But yes, um, do subscribe to find out when that will be. And also, if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank myself, Lag, Amy, Charles, 99, Tristan, Starscream, 
Lurker Cat and also Jeffrey. Thank you so much, guys. You're great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo.、Um, a bit of a solo episode this week, so sorry for the babbling and incoherent mutterings of a solo podcaster. It gets hard sometimes. So anyway, I'll guys see you next week with another fun episode in the show. See ya.